Hi friends, my name is Krishna. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about again the same purchase book, but this time we are going to work on illustration 2. This illustration I have extracted from CA Institute material and we are going to work on this and post which we will move on to the sales book. Right? Are you ready? Let us go to the problem. Okay friends. So this is what we are going to discuss today. Illustration 2. As I always explain, we first need to spend 5 minutes on reading this problem. Any problem for that matter. Let us first read the problem, understand what they have given in the problem and then focus on the solution. Ready? Let us read. 20. Enter the following transactions in a purchase book and post them into ledger. He is asking us to prepare the purchase book and also the ledger. Right? Next. 2020 April 4th. Purchased from Ajay Enterprises Delhi. 100 dozens of you know, Rexona Hawaii Chapel at 120 rupees per dozen. So he purchased. Did he say anywhere you know, cash? No. He mentioned very clearly from Ajay Enterprises. He did not mention about either credit or cash. If cash is not mentioned, we should consider this as a credit transaction. Clear? Then, 200 dozens of Palki leather chapel at 300 rupees per dozen. So, this is one. Then, trade discount 10%. We already discussed how to handle the trade discount in our previous videos. And freight charges 150. This is something very important which we are going to discuss today. Next, April 15th, purchased from Balaji Traders Delhi, 50 dozens of Mac shoes, 400 rupees per dozen, dozen under 100 pairs, uh, no sports shoes at 140 rupees per pair. That, that is something another they purchased. And trade discount to 10% and freight charges 200. Everywhere they have given freight charges because this is a special treatment which we need to understand in this problem. Next, April 28th, Purchased from Tripti Industries, 40 pair leather shoes at 400 rupees per pair. 100 dozens of rosy Hawaii chapels at 180 rupees per you know, dozen. Less trade discount to 10% and freight charges 100 rupees. So this is the problem they have given. Based on this problem, what is he asking us to do? He is asking us to prepare the purchase book and he is also asking us to prepare the ledger. So let us look into the problem now. How do we handle this? Here, the C solution, uh, purchase book, format is a little bit changed. You might be surprised. Krishna, you explained a different, uh, uh, you know, <coughs> format. How come the format has been changed? See, the format is slightly changed because freight charges are included here. Okay. So, whenever you see freight charges along with the purchases, we need to include those freight charges also into the purchase book because freight charges are associated with the goods purchase. Freight charges are associated with goods purchase. Any expenditure for that matter associated with you know, purchases should be shown in the purchase book. That is the reason you see here freight column we have included additionally. You can ask me a question. Krishna, Freight charges can be recorded in journal proper, right? There is a separate book called journal proper. Uh, this journal proper is basically meant for the transactions which are not covered under purchase book, purchase return book, sales book, sales return book, cash book, even uh, bills payable and bills receivable. So why can't we write that in you know, uh, journal proper? You can write. There is no, there is no wrong. But it, it is always better to maintain freight column in purchase book because freight expenses are associated with the purchases you made. I am not saying that freight charges cannot be recorded in journal proper. That is, that is also a right method. You can go ahead and do that. But what is the best method? This is the best method wherein you can show freight charges along with your purchases so that you will get to know what is your uh, total payment made against those purchases and you can also see how many freight charges you can pay it separately so it is always better to maintain freight charges along with this that is the reason why this format is slightly changed these three columns for example grass amount 
previously we used to record in details column now we split this amount into three three columns details column has been split into three one is gross amount trade discount net price previously we used to club these three and put it in one column called details column that's okay you can you can make that slight changes that's not a problem at all are you clear now so if you see the format here in purchase book this was common date is common particulars is common gross trade trade discount and the net price these three columns you can make it as details as well details one column i mentioned in my previous video please go through that video you will get to know so you can make it as one column here as details but still if you want to split and make it into three different columns it is acceptable nobody is going to question you nobody is going to deduct your marks okay so this is how you can show and the freight charges is an additional column we included and total amount one num one column is missed out in this uh, by the institute that is lf number that also to be included actually speaking lf number also to be included before this total amount that is missing uh, i think you know in this solution institute uh, you know did not uh, include that lf number that's okay but my suggestion is better you include lf number while you are preparing this problem are you clear right because i i took the you know same solution from the institute material that is the reason uh, i'm 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 you know uh, showing without lf number here but when you are preparing please include lf number as well are you clear right let us go through one by one now purchased from ajay enterprises delhi 100 dozens of rexona hawaii chapel at 120 rupees per dozen from where we purchased ajay enterprises so ajay enterprises unit right in particular column what date we purchased april 4th let us put april 4th in date column what is that we purchased it from ajay enterprise 100 dozens of rexona hawaii chapels at 120 rupees per dozen so 100 dozen chapel at 120 rupees per dozen is going to be 12,000 right similar way this is what 12,000 mentioned here next 200 dozen pulky leather chapel at 300 rupees per, per dozen we purchased 200 <coughs> dozen pulky leather chapel at 300 rupees per dozen if you multiply 200 into 300 it is coming to 600 600 plus 12,000 it is 72,000 60,000 plus 12,000 72,000 on this 72,000 they asked us to reduce trade discount of 10 percent so calculate 10 percent on 72,000 you get 7,200 as trade discount you get 7,200 as trade discount then 72,000 minus 72,700 this is your purchases 64,800 is your purchases along with that he also paid 100, 150 rupees freight charges not paid freight charges in uh, you know is supposed to pay 150 rupees he charged he in the sense ajay enterprises charged 150 freight charges if it is paid it will go to cash book this 150 is paid then it will go to cash book this is payable how do i know freight charged he said freight charged he didn't say freight paid freight paid if it is mentioned here that would have gone to cash book guys be very careful here if, if if the problem says freight paid you should not show here that was a payment made already you should not come in purchase book because purchase book we record only credit transactions so if it is already paid it should have been to gone to cash book since it is freight charged 150 150 is a credit transaction hence i am bringing this 150 in purchase book that is the difference you need to remember here are you clear so 150 is not paid payable to ajay so 64800 plus 150 it is coming to 64950 this is how this transaction has to be recorded are you clear right move on to the next one purchase it from balaji traders so balaji traders delhi we mentioned here what date april 15th mention the date here as april 15th clear then 50 dozens of mac shoes 400 rupees per dozen 50 dozens of mac shoes 400 rupees per dozen 50 into 420 000 rupees 
clear this is what we purchased next 100 pair uh, sport shoes at 140 rupees per pair 100 pair sport shoes at 140 rupees per pair 100 into 140 14000 so 14000 plus 20000 34000 is the grass amount on that he said you need to deduct 10% trade discount 34000 if you calculate 10% it will come to 3400 as your trade discount then 34000 minus 3400 it is coming to 30600 this is what net purchases we made from uh, balaji traders are you clear 30600 is what we purchased from balaji traders on top of it what he said he also charged 200 freight not paid freight charged he included freight charges 200 so the 200 we are showing it in freight column so what is the total amount 30600 plus 200 freight he charged put together 30800 is your total amount clear right next one purchase it from tripti industries bahadurga so tripti industries we mentioned here april 28th april 28th 40 pair leather shoes at 400 rupees per pair 40 pair leather shoes 400 rupees per pair 40 into 400 16000 we mentioned here clear 100 dozens of rosy hawaii chappals at 180 rupees per dozen we purchased 100 dozens of rosy hawaii chappals at 180 rupees per dozen is coming to 18000 18000 plus 16000 is 34000 clear in this 34,000, he is asking us to reduce 10% rate discount again. So, 10% rate discount on 34,000 is going to be 3,400. So, if I remove that 3,400 trade discount from here, my net purchase is going to be 30,600. 30,600. Then, he also charged freight 100 rupees. So, let us include 100 in freight column. So, you are total amount is going to be 30,600 plus this 100, 30,700 is your total purchase after trade discount. Are you clear? Right. Then what we need to do, we need to total this amount, 1,26,400. This 1,26,400 is inclusive of freight. This 450 is the freight. This is only purchases, net purchases after trade discount and before charging freight, 126,000. 14,000 is what? Trade discount that we should not show into the books of accounts. For the, the sake of presentation, we can show, but we should not include that into the books of accounts. So, 14,000 is not going to be part of it. So, what is your grass amount purchases? 1,40,000. This is what is the purchase book. This is how the purchase book has to be managed. In this purchase book, what he is asking is, he is asking us to post them into the ledger as well. He is asking us to post them into the ledger as well. How do we post it? First thing, let us, since we have prepared a purchase book, we have to prepare a purchase book, purchase account. I am explaining in, in detail how to prepare the ledger here. First, go ahead with purchases. What is here? Purchase book. Since there is a purchase book, you need to maintain a purchase account. So, purchase account is one account you need to maintain. You purchased goods from Ajay Enterprises. So, you need to maintain Ajay Enterprises account. Clear? You also purchased goods from Balaji Traders. So, you need to maintain Balaji Traders account. Clear? And you also purchased goods from Tripti Industries. So, you need to maintain Tripti Industries account as well. Then, you also need to maintain Freight account. You also need to maintain Freight account. So, purchase account, Ajay Enterprise account, Balaji Traders account, Tripti Industries account and Freight account. These many accounts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the five ledgers I am supposed to maintain. Five accounts in this particular ledger I need to maintain, not five ledgers, sorry, one ledger. In this one ledger, five accounts you need to maintain. What are they? Purchase account, Ajay account, Balaji account, Tripti account and Freight account. Clear? Let us go to the ledger now. How the ledgers are being prepared? Let me, let me move this you know, presentation to a little bit down. See here, 
purchase account first thing what i what did i say purchase account you need to manage in purchase account what is the net purchases we made 126000 we should not take this figure inclusive of freight we should not take exclusive of freight we need to take exclusive of trade discount we need to take we should not take trade discount into account we should not take freight into account so what is the net purchases 126000 this 126000 does not include freight this 126000 is net of trade discount that means what trade discount was already deducted so this is the amount you need to book as net purchases this is the amount you need to account as net purchases so if you want to record this in purchase book how do you you know record it to you can you can record to purchase book so what it is to amount as per purchase book you can say to amount as per purchase book so you can bring in that one like twenty six thousand or you can say to ajay to balaji to tripti you can write like this also there is no harm but why unnecessarily you need to maintain you know the purchase book purchase book total has to be brought into the ledger purchase book total this is not this one sorry this one purchase book total value should bring into the purchase account so let us not bring in individual names here let us bring 126000 total from purchase book to purchase account so we, when you are recording it what you need to record is to amount as per purchase book you need to write and bring in 126000 debit side why debit side why debit side we are recording purchases is a nominal account right all purchases and losses are supposed to be debited so purchase account will be debited so that is the reason purchase account we recorded this in debit side 126000 from purchase book we brought sorry again and again i am making mistake this amount we brought it to purchase account are you clear right next purchase account we have prepared right next freight account freight is how much 450 what entry we write for freight? Freight charges debit and the respect to person's name credit because it is not paid. So this 450 also you can say to amount as per purchase book 450. Why we are debiting this in freight charges? Freight charges is an expenditure. It comes under nominal account. All expenses and losses are supposed to be debited. Hence this 450 is debited in freight account. By saying to amount as per purchase book by saying to amount as per purchase book you can bring in to ajay account to balaji account to uh, tripti account you can say 150 200 100 you can write like this also here instead of to amount as per purchase book you can say to ajay 150 to balaji 200 to tripti 100 you can write like that also that is there is no harm there is no wrong you can write but since it is a it is recorded in purchase book you can simply say the amount has been brought in from purchase book of 450 you can do like this also this is also right method this is also right method you choose nobody is going to reduce the marks for this you can you can follow this method as well are you clear right so freight charges has been recorded let me go to down little bit now you see we are managing Ajay Enterprise account, Balaji Traders account, and Tripti Traders account. Now, Ajay Enterprises, let us go up and see what is that we purchased in Ajay Enterprises. See here, let me delete this. Ajay Enterprises, we mentioned here. One second. Ajay Enterprises, how much we purchased? 64,000. 800 this is what we purchased and freight charges 150 these two we need to record how do we record this purchases debit 64800 right freight charges debit 150 to ajay enterprises this is how the entry 64950 this is how the entry has to be posted if at all you would have managed the journal entry are you clear now, so purchase account is debit, freight account is debited, 
Ajay Enterprise is credited. So what, what you are supposed to do in Ajay Enterprises, you need to credit purchases, you need to credit freight charges. Let us see how that has been recorded now. Go down and see. Ajay Enterprise account, let us go. See, what did we write? Ajay Enterprise 64,800 by purchases, by freight. Same thing we recorded. Clear? So, this is how you need to post it in Ajay Enterprise account. Now, let us go to Balaji Traders. Let me take you up. See here, Balaji Traders, how much we purchase in net, net purchases? 30,600 after trade discount. You should not take this into account. 30,600. 30, we should not take this also. Why? This is inclusive of trade discount. So, you should not take this. This is trade discount. You should not record it. What is that net purchase you need to take? 30,600 is the net purchases. And he also charged 200 freight charges. Clear? So, 30,600 is purchases. 200 is your freight charges. These are the two things we need to record. Generally, if at all you would have maintained a say, you know, journal book, what entry you would have recorded? Purchases account. Debit. 30,600. Am I right? Why purchase debit? Expenditure. All expenses and losses are supposed to be debited. So, 30,600 debit. Freight charges. Debit 200 to Balaji. 30,800. This is how you record the entry. So, Balaji account is credited. So, Balaji account you need to credit. Credit said what we are supposed to write. By purchases 30,600. 30, uh, freight charges. 200. This is what you are supposed to record, right? Let us see what how it has been recorded. Go down. See, what did we write here? 30,600 by purchases, 200 by freight charges. Simple. This is how Balaji Traders account is also maintained, right? Next, Tripti Industries. How do we do this? Let us go, go up and see how the transaction has been, you know, recorded on top. Tripti Industries. See here. Tripti Industries. What is the net purchases we made? 30,600. This you should not take. Why? Because this is a trade discount. This is a gross amount, inclusive of trade discount. This also we should not take. What amount we need to take? 30,600 we are supposed to take. This 100 rupees is what he charged freight. So this also we need to take. This we need to take. This we need to take. So what entry we generally write? Purchases account debit 30,600. Freight charges debit 100 rupees to Tripti 30,700. This is the entry we write. What is that we have done with the trip, Tripti here? We credited. So, since we created Tripti, what we need to do? Credit side of the Tripti account, we need to record. So, credit side, what do we write? We write per buy purchases 30,600, buy freight 100 rupees. This is how we record. So, let us go and record the same in freight charges. Let us go down and see how that has been recorded. So, here, what is that we are writing? Just see here. By purchases 30,600, by freight 100 rupees. So, Tripti account is recorded like this. That's all. This is how the ledger has to be recorded and postings are done. Once that is done, you know how to do the balancing of the ledgers. What do we do generally? 30,700 we total and we put 30,700 here. If there is any amount, we subtract. If there is no amount subtracting, 30,700 we put. Then we write to balance carried down by balance brought down that is not written by institute but i am telling you how this has to be balanced similar way here 30800 30800 we will put here and we balance this with 30800 right to balance carried down by balance brought down 30800 so i am not explaining this in detail the about the balancing because you know how to balance the you know each account so hence i am leaving this uh, uh, balancing part here in this problem i am not explaining right so are you clear about you uh, know this this problem now this illustration 
This illustration is very important, guys. So these are the kind of problems if you could, you know, prepare for yourselves and if you are comfortable, small, small problems you can easily do. I'm still saying if you still have any doubts in your 11th standard, you know, textbook, right? If you, if you really wanted to know uh, some of the problems in your textbook are tough and you are expecting some sort of, you know, uh, solution from my end, please tell me the textbook name and the illustration or exercise problem, I will definitely provide the solution and put it in the YouTube channel. But you need to watch this video fully and comment on my video saying that what is your requirement so that I can accordingly, you know, uh, shoot the video and, uh, you know, try to explain the problem. Okay. So that's all, you know, for today. Uh, with this, you know, illustration, we have completed our purchase book. We are moving on to the sales book in next video, right? So if you like the content, I request you to like the video, subscribe to my channel and share this video with our friends and colleagues. Thank you so much.